All right, let's turn Reaper here into Pro Tools. Reaper, right out of the box, has nothing set <laughs> to the conducive standards that you find in most other sequencers. So if you're someone from Pro Tools, you will find that incredibly frustrating. But luckily, you tripped over my video here. Let's change it. So first off, we're going to go into Reaper Preferences. If you're on Mac, that's going to be Command P. If you're on PC, that's going to be Control P. But otherwise, looky right up here for Settings. Under General, go to Paths. Now, right here, if you're coming from Pro Tools, you'll know that, you know, typically there's that reserve file, bounced files. By default, it does not exist. So everything just gets thrown. <laughs> everything is just the piles system, pretty much, in a uh, Reaper project. And eh, get out of here. Uh, so right here, default render path for uh, renders. So whenever it's time to render it to a wave, to an MP3, to video file, to AUG, FLAC, what have you. You set a... Uh, file name for this it will create a fo or folder name you set a folder name for anything that renders it will just automatically create that folder so this is where you can just type in bounced files boom there you go hit apply another cool thing right above there default path to save new projects i think as well as open I, there i think that's somewhere else as well but um, if you want all of your reaper project files and folders, etc., to go to a specific spot on, say, like an external SSD. Copy that file path, paste it here, hit apply and OK. And just by default, anytime you save a Reaper, uh, Reaper project, boom, there it goes. Next, going to go to project settings. On, P uh, blah, blah, on Mac, that's going to be option enter. On PC, that is alt enter. But otherwise, go to file, project settings. Now, lots of cool things here. Especially the digital performer uh, people will know this one, project start time and starting measure. So uh, like uh, when it comes to setting the, uh, changing the starting time of a current chunk, what have you, this is where you can do that. As well as change beats to time if you want to adapt MIDI items and audio files, et cetera, to tempo. So lots of ne uh, neat little things on this first tab, but we're going to go to media because uh, sound bytes or uh, audio files on Pro Tools, usually they have their own reserve file as well, right? This right here is where you save that. And why the hell they're in two different places, I don't know. But anyway, path to save media files. So anytime you, um, um, anything from a mic in, like a vocal or you, uh, singing on a track or any uh, synthesizer bounces or prints, uh, uh, print, uh, print audio to track, for example, this will cr automatically create that folder for anything that you do in such a project. You don't have to worry about it. You know exactly where it is. And then you do that and then hit OK, save uh, project settings if you want to do that, but hit OK. Another thing you want to do right here in advance, this is critical because Reaper defaults pan law to zero. Why? I don't know. Once again. Anyway, negative uh, 3 dB coming from Pro Tools is where you do that. Now, otherwise, if you do a lot of stereo tracks, you might want to consider this. Pan mode will alter any tracks that you create by default to one of these different pan modes here. So stereo balance slash mono, of course, uh, balances the volumes of left and right. So it doesn't necessarily shift the overall stereo image. Stereo pan does, but for some reason, these two get a negative D 3 dB, or actually I know exactly why, but anyway, they get a negative 3 dB boost if you use dual pan. This is straight up Pro Tools, of course. So. If you look, if you see here, in fact, let me change the skin, the theme of my project session here. So this looks probably very reminiscent of Pro Tools. And uh, this theme, I love it. <laughs> it's very colorful. But uh, anyway, that is dual pan. So anything that is a stereo track, your uh, stereo VSTs, uh, VIs, what have you, um, anything stereo, I suggest you go ahead and set that to dual pan. And that way, it will. Be, I have run null tests between Reaper here and Pro Tools. This is how you achieve a null test between the two. A perfect, perfect, perfect pass, uh, perfectly passes. So here's another thing to keep in mind. Let me create several tracks here, and I'm just going to demonstrate something because foldering tracks in Reaper is actually pretty nice. Um, there's just one thing I want to show you before we sign off, though, because, oops, I missed. When I tripped over this, I was like, what the hell? So I'm going to create, uh, let's say, this Addictive Keys Piano. 
I'm going to put it in the folder. And then I'll create another one just outside of it. Okay, so we got two addictive keys. I'm going to put this one to record. Uh, this all basically in Reaper, anything that's foldered will kind of climb the chain of command, as you will, before sounding out of the uh, ultimately the top folder track. Unless you turn these guys off as well as that and then route, go into routing and that'll be that's another topic for another video. But if all of these tracks here are dual pan, which they are, there will be no subsequent uh, like attenuation of, of 3 dB per track. So check this out. Versus. It's the same same volume. Now I'm going to change all of these tracks here, just these as opposed to this dual pan to stereo balance, which means that negative three dB gets cut per track. So that's one, two, three, four, five, like anywhere from 12 to 15 dB. So something to keep in mind if you're going to use any, uh, if you're gonna folder tracks that are either mono uh, mic ins or um, stereo or even um, uh, stereo pan, not dual pan. So something to keep in mind there, but there you go. Make sure you have bounce files and audio files, negative three dB pan law, and then whatever you decide to do with this. That will dictate how any tracks that you bring into session or create to um, take that pan law, uh, that uh, panning setting. And you, my friend, have Pro Tools.